Hello everyone and welcome to this video with Rocket Tester. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Canada Arm 2 in this game. There is no Canada Arm 1 but we're going to use Canada Arm 2 today. We start by getting into the space shuttle or any other sorts of transport to the ISS and then we launch off as soon as we're ready. Watch some of my other episodes on how we do the glitch or how we get the space shuttle quickly up if you want to know exactly how. And I do apologize if I sound a little bit rusty today as I am a little bit sick. As soon as we have arrived here, we might want to know where we want to be, at be attached to the station. And that's where the Canada Arm comes in. First of all, I'm gonna move this space shuttle closer to the Canada Arm and then extend the arm and use that to manipulate. As soon as we are outside, we take this arm and try to connect it to the space shuttle. It might be a little bit difficult as we need to learn how to use this arm. I have not learned that yet, but you just experiment a little bit. Like as you see, this moves this piece. So if I were to put it back, it will move it backwards. This moves the arm right here, rotates it. I can rotate it back. And this, this just moves the arm this way on the X axis, I believe it is. Then we can move it back. The elbow itself is just this joint up here. It will basically move this part, this long part and extend it to whatever we want to extend it to. As you see, if we put it back, it will go back. Put it forward, it will go forward. Now we have the shoulder. This is where the arm is relied on. This is the part where it's connected. And um, I apologize for the weight. This shoulder, for example, this part, it rotates it. You see, it doesn't move anything up there. It just rotates this big part forward and backwards. Let's see if I can get it right. There we go. Now this rotates the arm entirely just from the base on the Z axis, I believe it is. I am not completely sure. It basically will make it go around. And last but not least, it's this axis. And you just have to kind of um, practice as long as you think you should. And then you will get the best possible solution. Okay, so let's try grabbing the Canada arm. I mean, the space shuttle. So first of all, I'm gonna extend the elbow to like maybe this long. And then rotate it so it's a little bit more level. And I believe that was this rotation. I am very right about that. And then aim it a little bit more with this other rotation. And you just have to get it kind of right, like right there. And then you can go down with this one to go forward. And then go up with the elbow to get it extended. Let's try grabbing the nose. I'm not sure if we will be able to connect it. I think it's too far away. So what happens now is that we go back here in space station controls, unanchor the space shuttle, set speed to 10 or whatever is more comfortable with you and then walk it more forward. I'm also going to take it a little bit more down so we can grab it by the nose. This can be considered a little bit cheating but not a lot because yeah you need to get it to the station somehow before you can grab it with the arm okay so now we can almost grab it we just need to connect this arm piece to the craft itself um, I am gonna connect I'm gonna first of all extend the elbow a little bit more as you see it's going to be connected here very soon um, now give me a second okay 
if yeah I just needed to look at the wrist a little bit before I understood if I could do a rotation and I apparently cannot okay so let's take the shoulder just a little bit up there we go now we just have to connect it by pressing grab and then selecting the space shuttle and now the space shuttle is grabbed so if I would want to pull it upwards if this is fixed I hope we can just do this oh and you also have to have the things unanchored for them to move so if we now go here you see we move the space shuttle up and this <laughs> isn't really a good configuration to have the space shuttle in but let's just try playing with it so first of all I'm gonna try and rotate it to be as level as possible down here at the arm base and then let's make it go a little bit more up now you see we connected it <coughs> when, it, when it was sideways so now it's gonna be sideways but this is something we have to somehow adapt on and let's try what does this do again very unsure oh okay this is the arm itself where it connects that moves I believe maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm not and what does this do uh, I think this is the arm itself this is on the wrist so it's gonna be very hard to locate let's try and first of all make this a little bit more leveler like that and then let's try getting the elbow a little bit more level so we can get this as level as possible I will agree that it's easier to do this in just the space station controls but it's sometimes cooler to do this to do it this way I'm also later gonna test if you can have a multiplayer like a, say a friend control the Canada arm because that could bring both pros and cons yeah let's connect it there we go um, as you see the space shuttle is we can see the direction we're gonna do it in we're gonna glitched but um, 
it works and I will uh, test if it works in multiplayer like if I can have a friend doing this I hope it can because that would open up for opportunities and um, thank you for watching and I am gonna make another ISS tutorial because they have updated some of the modules like this module this is very cool I would love to see the instruments kind of work but that's up to the developers now you see we also have this so I hope you guys enjoyed and um, let me know if there is anything else you would like to see or if this tutorial was just completely bad and you want a more in-depth because there isn't really anything more in-depth to do with this but if you just want me to kind of showcase it and I hope you I hope you all liked it and I'll see you later goodbye remember to like and subscribe bye bye